So you got some ex welder who is who is the uh, tow truck driver hooks a hook to the front of the thing. And so we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. We'll follow this. We'll follow that. Make sure. What's up, bro? It is two days since my surgery. Uh, I got a varicocele litigation or some shit, right? So a varicocele I've mentioned on a previous video is when the veins in your balls like all tangle up and uh, it looks like a bag of worms. And I just wanted to like shout today because I feel a lot better, but um, I just want, like I feel a bit agitated and, and aggressive. I, I mentioned the story that I had had this checked out twice in the UK and with the NHS and they let me down. They said it was going to be a problem that, you know, you can just ignore it and stuff. And it was only when I really took it more seriously to realize it's not something to ignore. It's not something to like live with because it's unnatural. It, it's a, um, it's something that is heavily tied to infertility, which means you can't have kids. Like the most of the guys who can't have kids have got a varicocele, and fifteen percent of guys in the world develop varicoceles. There's nothing to do with my capture card. Just stop fucking complaining about the flickering. I, I can't do anything about it. But it just got me like <clears throat> like this kind of like male problem especially when it comes to i'm not even male, using like, a capture card health, right now testosterone your testicles and everything it just gets me like vexed of how how little it's cared about that like in the uk we have this you know this this narrative that the nhs are all heroes oh my god so amazing and there might be when it comes to emergencies like, if you've been hit by a car they'll help you, if you yeah dude guess what the reason um in the UK, there's this growing problem of getting turned down by the NHS is uh, because of the fucking Conservative Party. Y you can actually look at um, how political, uh, how like what political parties in control at the time affects uh, wait times in the NHS. Conservatives, it always just fucking skyrockets. Under Labour, it just like it, it always just goes down and falls flat. So. Part of the reason why you're getting this poor level of care with the NHS in the UK right now is because of the fucking conservatives. Um, and COVID ob obviously made it worse, too. If you've got cancer, they'll give you chemo or something for free. But like when it comes to these long-standing problems, especially if they're male-related, they're, they're not that valuable. They're not that helpful. And I see this at, like so often back there. And I just want you to like put yourself in my shoes and imagine through the worst period of my life, 2019, 2020, when, you know, I'm smoking weed every day, I hate my life, I'm depressed and everything, I'm working a full-time job. And at 8 a.m. of that day, that's when the GPs, like the hospital, like the um, doctor's place opens at 8 a.m. every Monday. Anyone who's in the UK knows this. So at 8 a.m., you have to call them. And if you call them at 8 or 1, your, your call won't go through. So you call at 8, but everyone's calling at 8 a.m., which means that your call doesn't go through today. You eventually do connect at 8 or 3. And they're like, oh, sorry, no more appointments. Uh, try to try again tomorrow. And I'm stood outside of my office building. It's raining right now. And I want some privacy because I'm going to tell them, yeah, my, my balls hurt. And there's a clump of veins in my balls right now. I remember going through this multiple times, having to call on the tram, like, you know, the public transport on the way to work. And eventually, yeah, finally getting an appointment, having to like, you know, get an Uber there and stuff. And doctor quickly just touches my balls and says, no, but it's only one and it's only on one side. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, you'll be absolutely fine. Why? This thing leads to infertility and a doctor looked me in the eyes and said, it's fine. You don't need to worry about it. Yeah, it's probably because based on his, um, based on his expertise, he made that fucking diagnosis that in all likelihood, it's not worth pursuing, um, any treatment. That'll happen. Get a second opinion. Why? So I, I leave it. You know, that's my responsibility. It's my fault. I left there and pursue it more. I would have loved to, but like the stress of having to like book an NHS doctor's appointment is just through the roof, especially when you're not, you know, with good mental health. Eventually, about a year or two later, I rebooked it in 2022, 2021. Go for doctor's appointment. They check it. They say confirm that, okay, I've got one. They send me to an ultrasound. And I swear to God, the, the nurse or the doctor who did the ultrasound moved it around like my, my testicles for like barely a minute bro maybe about 30 seconds and literally already concluded 30 seconds in that nope no there's nothing there i can't see anything and i was like pleading i literally i know this is like a bit embarrassing bro i stood up grabbed my ball sack to her and i know you can see it like you can i know it's, it's fucking funny but it's like bro it's i have a hard time believing that um for one thing your average person is 
probably not going to push like harder when they get you know a diagnosis or some shit. Um, secondly, th this guy was talking about being apprehensive about making another phone call to book an appointment. The idea that he would literally stand up, grab his balls, push it in a woman's face, and say, "Oh, scan it again." I I don't believe that story. And third. I don't even know if they're allowed to um, tell you the diagnosis. Um, usually when you get an ultrasound, they don't tell you um, what they found and you have to wait for like the doctor to take a look at the ultrasound results. Um, that's at least how it normally is anyway. What the fuck? I have no idea why this disconnected. <clears throat> Can you go fuck yourself? Oh my god. Uh, private healthcare is the stupidest fucking idea imaginable. Uh, just monumentally fucking retarded. So, first of all, you would get the exact same problem that he's talking about under a private system. Um, secondly, you have way less fucking coverage under a private system, and it's way more expensive. The United States spends five times as much on healthcare compared to any other nation that uses a uh, socialized... Th that's fucking great. Oh my fucking god, dude. Fucking useless. Stupid fucking bitch. Oh wait, wrong one. Holy mother of a fuck. I'm so close to losing it. Great! We're done! Um... Dodo donated $2, react to this, can't, we're fucking done. Because my stupid FUCKING BLUETOOTH won't work! For Adam, uh, donated $3, very important to shave a fake scar into your eyebrow and wear two pound necklace to appear tough. I like, uh, his left ear, look at that cute little guy, his right ear on the other hand. Keep on eye on that fat bastard talking all the good sounds from Lefty. Sure, thanks for the nation, Adam. And hug dumpster donated three dollars. Vice obtained copies of messages where Andrew Tate allegedly told his victim, "I love raping you." British officials declined to prosecute. This is absolutely vile. That's pretty crazy. <gasps> well, uh. I'll react to that tomorrow or later, or some shit, I guess. Take care, everybody. Bye. Oh, somebody else. No, we're done. Take care.